Hello, KCIW listeners, and welcome to Curry Cafe, where local community members discuss a wide range of topics from serious to whimsical. Okay, welcome to another edition of the Curry Cafe. Curry Cafe, we get together a few of the smartest people I can find, and we talk about something. Anything. Can be anything. If you have something you'd like us to talk about, contact us. Maybe we'll do it. But today, today we are going to talk about something that affects all our lives in one way or another, either as a humorous thing or possibly a very serious thing. We're going to talk about conspiracy theories. We all have heard them, and we all know them, and uh, some of them are outrageous, and some have said, well, maybe that's true. So to get things started, we'll go around the table as usual in a clockwise fashion and introduce ourselves. Hi, this is Shirley Hyatt, and I'm happy to be here today with my pals, and I'll turn it over to Rick. Well, hello. Thank you, Shirley and Ray. Uh, Rick McNamer, volunteer KCIW. Can't wait to get into the topic today. Me too. I'm Billy Hopkins Furuichi, and I am glad to be here with Ray and Shirley and and, um, Rick. Rick. (laughs) Yes. We are going to have a good show today, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Does anybody want to start off with a famous conspiracy theory? Uh, Let let me start off with this. (laughs) A a, a ridiculous one. Um, I don't know how many of you know, but there's a large group of people, part of Q, QAnon, who believe that uh, JFK Jr. is not dead, but in fact has been in hiding for 22 years since he supposedly died in a plane crash to be Trump's vice president. And there were, this year on, on the anniversary of the assassination, there were hundreds of people lining the streets of Dealey Park waiting for him to make his appearance and make his announcement. But he didn't come, did he? He he didn't come, no. So then then they said, well, he's really going to be at the Rolling Stones concert tonight. (laughs) Well, I'm sure that was the Rolling Stones promotion people who (laughs) had sold a bunch of tickets. Yeah, come on down. (laughs) Never happened. But that's that's one of the the really silly ones. But it's, I mean, these people had signs, uh, Trump, Kennedy, 2004 or whatever. Well, now, I don't quite get why Trump would be aligned with a Kennedy. Because um, Trump, oh, no. Trump, Trump, no, no, wait a minute, you have, to, you have to understand the whole thing here. Mm-hmm. Trump is just pretending to be an ultra-conservative. He's really part of the worldwide uh, liberal cabal who uh, drinks baby's blood and are oh. pedo- pedo- pedophiles. Oh. See, See, you I have did. to, you have to, mm-hmm. Billy, Billy, you have to think this through. <laughs> yeah, you can't yeah. just look at the, at the, at the, at the beginning there. You have to say, oh, Do not let, look at the facts. Okay, so they now. won't help you. Does it make sense to you now? That, not, now that makes perfect uh, sense. Absolutely. Okay, good. Yes. Mm-hmm. But we can allow you to continue to be an American. And we're glad that <laughs> it is a conspiracy. Well, I have a theory, and that theory is that you have to have the kind of brain that is willing to accept really odd thoughts or odd circumstances and not just out of hand say, well, that couldn't possibly be true. You have to have the kind of brain that says, oh, that sounds interesting. Let's look into that, you know. And once you start looking into some of these things, the more support you get from other people, the more you think, yeah, that's right. That sounds right. And my thought is that a lot of these folks don't much have a life, so to speak, and they find other people of a similar lack of, of uh, clarity and where they're going in the world, and, and it feels like suddenly they're important. They know something other people don't know. They're in on a secret, and they're smarter than other people because they have the truth when other people refuse to see it. So I think there's sort of a... Um, it, it, it's, it's just a mindset, and either you've got that or you haven't. You, you you mentioned being smart. Uh, yeah, you would think that the uh, the people who are buying into this stuff are you know, Bubba and his buddy out in the swamp gigging gigging frogs. But no, Mm-mm. I have two friends that are very intelligent that are very into this stuff. Neither of them are very well educated, but uh, one friend of mine is is 
I'm, I'm sure he's very close to genius, but he buys into every one of these damn things. When Art Bell was on the radio, I don't know if everybody's oh, very familiar, with, very Art familiar Bell. with Art Bell. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. He was an Art Bell, Bell fanatic. And, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Art, Art Bell, when he, I don't know if it was when he first started, but years ago, his was a political show every, every week or every night. And then once a week, he had, I forget what he called it. That was the night that he did the weird stuff about flying sources oh, okay. and, and stuff. And then Oklahoma City happened. And the Oklahoma City people who, who, who did that bombing were exactly the kind of people that Art Bell was talking to. He was encouraging um, anarchy and all this other mm-hmm. stuff and to, just to get listeners, I mean. Sure. And uh, next day, whoosh, never again. Never again did he talk politics. Never again. Hmm. Well, it's interesting. I have a real good friend. Uh, well, I took her to Russia several times back in the 80s when she was a teenager. She actually got her um, master's degree in pedagogy at the Moscow University. She and her and her kids and her father are still very, very much in favor of what's going on in Russia right now. She believes that Putin is the most wonderful person in the world. And um, she's very intelligent, yet she buys in to a lot of those conspiracy theories. And what did that, she have a degree in? Uh, pedagogy. Oh, which is? Wait, oh, education. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> shows my lack of. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> but she, yeah, she says that there's that Ukraine is full of Nazis and that and that Putin is ridding Ukraine of Nazis. She sends me all kinds of things and I just don't watch him. Spe- well, speaking of Ukraine, if you want to get a a, a good picture of that, there's a uh, a documentary, I don't think it's on Netflix, um, can't think of the name of it, 20, 20 Days in Maripol. If you oh. can get if you can get to see that, it's really very, very intense. Yeah. Ray, you mentioned Art Bell. I, uh, over my research the past week, I've uh, divided up my conspiracy theories into three categories. Dangerous, then harmless and fun, and then silly. Of course, I've got plenty of them here, but I put the Art Bell uh, in the harmless and fun, because I used to listen to him too, and he was a a lot about, uh, oh, of course, UFOs and Bigfoot and all that, but the the hole in Siberia, I don't know if you're familiar with that one, where the microphone was dropped into a hole that bottomless pit, supposedly, and you heard devilish screams. Anyway, just... That was on uh, Ancient Aliens, I think, wasn't it? Could have been. Could have been. And then there was another, well, anyway, I was just going to say that's it for, for me, Art Bell was pretty harmless and fun usually, but then he did start delving into the political realm. I thought towards the end. Oh, he went back. I believe yeah, I can't, he, not Republican or conservative. There's a party that he belonged to. Now I can't think of the name well, he, of it. It was, but, it was the wacko party. That well, he was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, and then, of course, the dangerous ones. I've got a whole bunch, but uh, QAnon, the Sandy Hook murders were a hoax. Yeah, that, oh, boy. The birther, Obama birther, and Michelle was, all, all, and I, that's dangerous, I thought, because it, it fomented racism and violence. Uh, so anyway. We, so what's, what's with this InfoWars guy? Does anybody have an opinion? Oh, Is he doing this? Alex Obviously, he, Jones? Doesn't, he oh. doesn't believe it. Is he just, yeah, is I he think doing he, it for the... Just I, to be famous, or no, is he I doing he it for the money? It, and I think he believes it. And even after he got sued for millions of dollars, he is which still he'll back, never pay. Which he'll never yeah. pay. He's back on the air, saying the same things. So I believe he is. He still it. talking about the school shooting? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. That, that's what amazes makes me. You, makes you sure wonder that, about freedom of the press or the First Amendment. Yes. Well, right. Well, there's a slippery freedom slope. Yes, mean, yes, yeah. yes, there is. Because, well, I think we've we've got to the nub of it, which is all about freedom of speech. And so, if you can, you can say in the old days, you'd say, "Well, the only thing you really can't do is scream fire in a crowded theater." Well, exactly. You know that's that's baby stuff. You know <laughs> for what's going on now, it's like you can say anything. I mean, you can lie through your teeth and call it free speech, and that's where we are right now. And I, frankly, I find it horrifying to see how many people are willing 
to throw in with these ideas as if they're the gospel truth. And that leads me to the thought that if people have a, a religious mindset, they are more likely to buy into these other kinds of conspiracies because they have turned their thoughts over to a higher power, so to speak. Uh, does anybody follow what I'm I talking about here? I do follow that. Yeah. 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 Evangelicals are very big into mm-hmm. all of this type of thing. Mm-hmm. And I think the reason is they're, they're not really brought up to uh, much critical thinking. It's believe what you're told. Mm-hmm. Well, and I also believe that they just, like, I, I put uh, the people that believe global warming is a hoax into these uh, into mm-hmm. a conspiracy theory, and the evangelicals, from what I can gather, are just, hey, it's, if it's a hoax or God will take care of it. That's how they think without trying to eliminate, you know, any of the uh, things that we could do to stop global warming. Well, but I think you've hit on something else, which is to just absolve yourself of any responsibility. Well, it's sure. like, yeah. that, well, you know, not my fault, or I'm not part of that. You right. Know, well, right. It's, right. It's out there, and it's out of my control. And, and if you don't see it, then there's something wrong with you. you and know? that's why, yeah, and that's why they want to eradicate critical thinking skills from the curriculum Critical thinking skills have nothing to do with critical race theory, and they conflate the two as if they're the same thing. Yeah. And they're and, not at all. And what's wrong with critical race thinking anyway? Uh, no, the critical race theory I, is a, you, you know. I, I, I know. Yeah, I know. there's nothing wrong with it. It's a, it's a theory that they teach I, in I, I understand, but you, graduate, you're saying they equate them like they, they're they, both bad things. They well, if equate, you just say critical thinking, a lot of people have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> teaching people how to, for example, read a novel and figure out why the characters are doing what they're doing and predict what might happen next. That's what we teach. Or when That's what you, we used to teach or, or kids. When you well, school. to make to make your own decisions and draw your own conclusions, mm-hmm. I think critical mm-hmm. thinking, that's what it means to me, is to say, despite what somebody says to me, I'm going to make my own decision about it because I can think without assuming that somebody else is right and I might be wrong. Right. So, yes. Which is but, exactly what conspiracy theorists say. Yeah, right. They think, but they're in a, they're, they're in a safety zone of sorts. You know, if, if we all feel and think the same way, we're happier. We want to be with people who are like us. And sometimes having a secret saying, well, you know, only we are in the know. <laughs> we are the ones who know. Nobody else re- mm-hmm. is really in on this then that kind of secretive stuff is what draws people into it. And I, I think, unfortunately, um, this whole computer world that we live in, for lack of a better word, um, having a phone in your hand all the time, blah, 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 it's taken away the idea that you're making up your own mind about things. You're just assuming that if somebody has put that out there, that it's true. Mm-hmm. And it's it's absolutely not true. <laughs> it could be very much not true. And this is the problem with what's happening with the social media these days and with the uh, things that you can get on the computer that you didn't use to get before. I mean, there have been conspiracy theories going on for since the time immemorial. But not like today. But not like today. The and the speed is which proliferated yeah. through the social media and... The I, computer how did bots. they grow to be so outrageous? You know, uh, I'm I'm not exactly a student of the Kennedy assassination, but I've mm-hmm. I guess I've watched some of the the uh, documentaries, and I don't think I've ever read much or of anything about it. But uh, and I've been to Dealey Plaza, and I stood and looked out the same window that Oswald allegedly looked out, and it, uh, it was not a difficult shot. I mean, it was pretty damn close, actually, but. So there is some, you might say, even somewhat possible uh, ideas that there was a second shooter, and there's a lot of people who've gone into it in, in, in an intelligent manner have come up with, hey, maybe it wasn't mm-hmm. just Oswald. But this gets exaggerated to such a, a ridiculous extent. I interviewed a guy in here a year or so ago, and I wish I'd brought the book with me because he... He started to talk about what happened. Well, he came in and he said, and he's taking all his stuff out. And my co-host Dan, Dan Sherman at the time says, "So you're going to talk about the Kennedy conspiracy?" Huh? 
And he stopped taking his stuff out and started putting it away. He said, it's not a conspiracy. So we had to calm him down. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the sh there was like three or four shooters before they made that big turn. And the reason they made that turn so slowly is because so that the shooters could shoot. And he has diagrams and all kinds of things of all this. And then, um, but none of them hit them, hit him because their guns were doctored. Somebody got to their guns and, and changed the scope settings or something. Then I think the next one to shoot at him was Oswald. And I don't remember whether Oswald, I think Oswald's gun may have been doctored too or something. But any, oh, it was Oswald that doctored the other guy's guns. Oh, of for, course he did. Good. For, for whatever Great. reason. And then I don't remember about the grassy. I lost count of how many people were actually doing the shooting. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. I, there was at least 10 or 12. One of which, and he even has a painting in his book, was the Secret Service driver of the Kennedy car turned around with a, with a, with a handgun. I heard about that one, yeah. And, and shot him. And I said, well, well uh, uh, didn't anybody else in the car <laughs> see that? And, uh, well, uh, I'm not going to say anything, but, you know, they were all in on it. Yeah, but you're trying to make sense of something, you know, and th and these people aren't trying to make sense of it. They're trying to become important somehow, um, or, I mean, why would they do this? He, why would he, somebody want to do this? What's it to them? He has firmly believed that he considered himself an expert. Interestingly enough, along with the Secret Service thing, that the, the latest theory that seems to have some traction uh, among the people who are really uh, – to know about this was that the Secret Service agent in the car behind the president's car had a um, an M16 on the floor of the car, and when he picked it up to turn to to face in the Oswald's direction, it went off, and that's what one of the guns were that killed Kennedy. I I saw that in a recent documentary that apparently is it's it's getting some traction as being possibly true. But there wasn't a car behind Kennedy's car. There were motorcycles. Well, the cars behind the motorcycles then. I'm not saying that yeah, but it's, it was an interesting years, documentary. How many years has this been going on? I don't I mean, know. Mm -hmm. Well, since well, 19, was it, 62? Yeah. I well, uh, yeah. Click, click. Three. Of yeah. course, this, yeah. 53, maybe. <laughs> this but, requires somebody keeping quiet. All the Secret Service people knew about it, but in order to save the Secret Service reputation, they could not talk about it. I, that I, makes sense. Right? Well, I put the JFK in the silly category myself, <laughs> but you know, uh, but with and Billy's, I think is correct, of course, with the proliferation now, and I think it's a Pandora's box that's mm -hmm. open and mm -hmm. will never be closed. Well, maybe someday, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But social media, man, TikTok. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I used to be on Facebook, but it was getting so crazy that that I had to get off, and um, that. It, it just, like I said, perpetuates this kind of stuff. And then the t the TV channels that they have, the, a history channel has turned into kind of a, uh -huh. there's no history there, really. It's all oh, about conspiracy oh, oh, theories. Oh, no, sometimes there, there are some really, really? good oh, okay. history. Well, they have some I'm, good stuff. But there they are have, some good history okay, The history channel has a lot of crap. I'll take that yeah. back. Yeah. Sorry, I don't sorry, know what station that. is running this program called the Alaska Triangle. And it opens up to be, it opens up with how many people are lost every year in Alaska with no trace and they don't know this and they don't know that. And I, well, I, I used to be a search and rescue coordinator in Alaska. Their numbers are way out of line as to how many people who were never recovered, but a lot of people are not recovered. It's a big damn state and there's lots of woods and there's lots of things that will do away with, with somebody that's lost and things like that. Uh, I was part of a search for, we searched for close to three weeks using everything available to find a twin otter that had flown into a mountain. I don't know if mm. anybody familiar with the twin otter, but it's it's a good sized plane. It's uh, mm. oh seats about a dozen people, and uh, anyway, we searched and searched and searched and never found it. And, and we could almost said, "Oh, aliens took it," but no, it, it snowed on <laughs> well, top. Well, that was of my it. first well, thought. Yeah, yeah, aliens got them. There's just yeah. so but it so snowed and... on the plane, and then as the, the weather warmed up a little bit, one wheel started to stick out of the snow, and we found the plane, but. Yeah. It's it's just an immense amount of, of area to cover, and mm -hmm. and you think, well, okay, I'll just fly across the tundra, and there it will be. No, it ain't that way at all. Mm -hmm. Not at all. 
Well, in the uh, fun category that my wife and I uh, delved into a little bit is the uh, the Mount Shasta Lemur- Lemurian. Lemurian. Oh, that uh, is fun. We used to yes. go up there. Uh, <laughs> we just love that little place. But yeah, it was uh, the, the little, I don't know if they're blue or people that live inside of the mountain. And then when the Mount Shasta, it's a beautiful place, of mm-hmm. course. It does have the... Uh, lenticular clouds. Have you ever seen those? Yes, they look exactly like motherships, don't they? they? And what else could they be? I mean, really? (laughs) Right. And we all know that regular clouds don't look like motherships. But, you know, like I said, it was just fun. Did did we believe it? No. But we went downtown in the little shops and bought the books. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I think that's harmless fun, I I suppose. Well, I I just had a thought, and and I'm going to go back in time to say when we were little kids and generations before us, what what did we delight in? Fairy tales. Yes. Um, and the Brothers Grimm, of course, made a big splash in, in that world. But, but we delighted in creatures that could talk, you know, uh, the Bambi movie, the Seven Dwarves, and, and, you know, all kinds of fantastical things that were entertaining. And... And they were not true, but they were certainly fun. But I think maybe mankind has always had a desire for fantasy and fantasy in a, that can stretch itself out into many, many directions. And probably the most common fantasy, if I could use that word loosely, is uh, religious thought. Because once you start down that road, you know, uh, then you can say, well, do you believe that that we have just so many breaths and that once you've taken that many breaths, let's say you have two gazillion, and well, that's it. You've taken that last breath, so therefore you were only allowed it, allotted just them? so many. I, um, mm-hmm. but, if, I, if I only have a certain amount, can I not? Exert myself where I'm breathing hard and you. Yeah, you be, just yeah. Don't exercise a lot like a because you might be <laughs> using more breaths than you need to. I didn't want to. I didn't mean to interrupt you there. That was in any religious theory, in in any religious. Yeah, and theology. I think that's all part of how our heads work somehow. And I know we're all sitting here trying to figure out why do people think this way? Why do they believe that way? Well, if you if you just narrow it down to the common denominator of religious thought, I think it's helpful. Because once people believe, let, let's say for sake of the argument, believe that, that it, believe in reincarnation. I, I find that kind of easy to believe, actually. Mm-hmm. But not everybody does. Mm-hmm. What, why do people of more of a Christian thought say, well, this life is here as a test so that we know where where we're going to end up. It's either in heaven or in hell. So in other words, this is a testing ground. Uh, And and if we are good little kids, then we get to go to heaven. And if we're not, we we have to go to hell. And so these are very common, but I think fantastical thought, really, when you boil it down. Am I making any sense? You are in some way. (laughs) We'd have to go all the way back, way before Constantine, uh, decided to incorporate all of the pagan mythology into Christianity, and uh, when and I think it was three twenty nine in the in that council of, with Constantine, he decided no, we can't have this. We can't have the the Gospel of Saint Thomas in here. We can't have the Gospel of Judas in here. We can't have the Gospel of um, Mary Magdalene. And they were all right there. And they went through all of those books and they said, no, we can't have this, can't have that. Because then people would start to have, be able to think for themselves. He didn't want people to think for themselves. It goes way back. Well, and now you're hitting on the thing that I think we haven't really um, counted on, and that is control. Control. Once yeah. you can get people to think a certain way, you can control them. Yeah. And that goes back to to religious thought primarily, yep. or, or landowners, uh, people who, they're in charge, they, they get to tell you how you can think. And, and there's a, yes. a line from yeah. um, Downton Abbey, no, your, your hus- when you are married, your husband will tell you what to think. <laughs> you know, it's, yes. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, it's kind of as simple as that. And I think the human mind is curious. And it wants to poke into this little cranny and that little cranny and try to figure things out. 
And in the process, all of these things can spring up. Mm-hmm. You know, one one I well, why why did why did somebody if it wasn't Osmond, why did somebody want to kill JFK? Well, Johnson wanted to be president. Simple as that. You know, uh, so he he arranged for that to happen. I don't know. Well, JFK wanted to end the war in Vietnam too. But you know, I I think it all springs from something. It springs from one idea off into another one. And then once you get there, it begins to make sense. And once you've trained yourself to think that way, then just about anything is possible, right? Yeah. And then uh, on the religion aspect too, I I don't know if this is quite a, you could consider it a uh, conspiracy theory, but I think about the Salem witch trials. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mean, where they got people to believe. Yeah. And it was, of course, women. Of Men course, that aren't is responsible for the, you know, <laughs> anything like that. But anyway, Men but can you do know, no I mean, wrong. that, that yeah. it ended up in the, no, the cast, death of cast, women. For cast, God's sake. Casting spells is a, is, a, is a feminine activity. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's well, well known. I, well, I'm surprised you even brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> I think there were a couple of male witches though who were burned at the they, they warlock. Didn't cast warlocks, spells yeah. though. Oh, did they? oh <laughs> threw them in there just in yeah. But yeah, that's I would say that's conspiracy theory. Well, back then, anyway, and then you know that's when. Uh, so they didn't ride around on brooms, did they? I mean, brooms oh, are also yes. a feminine I, thing. As a matter of fact, I remember seeing one of them in my past life. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never so mind. So they did. All right. Yeah. Well, I think it's modern day conspiracy theories that, that have brought all of this to our attention mm-hmm. because right. we could go back and talk about how long have people believed in Yeti or the Bigfoot or, you know, how long has that been going on? That was happening before the internet took over and I mean there were there were people who You obviously missed our Bigfoot show. I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh golly. You can, but, you can look it up on KCRW.org. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the reminder. Is it still on podcast? Yeah. Oh, oh sure. that would be good. I should uh, go well, the, well here's the question, you know, since since we're that. all aware of all of, of this, what to do about it, if anything? Um, does it does it make a dent in somebody else's philosophical point of view if you point out to them that they're stark raving crazy? No, you know? it does not. Um, if they believe it, they believe it. They How believe do you it. walk well, them off that ledge? Uh, that's where I go back into the dangerous. I mean, I, mm-hmm. I'm looking at the the Holocaust denying. Look, good, um, good God, what's going on now? You go all over the place. Uh, even the election fraud that keeps being perpet- I think that perpetuates violence. It's, of course. Uh, oh, absolutely. I cannot imagine how the next one will go. I can't un- either. Unless, uh, it's a, uh, unless both sides just lay down their arms and say, oh, the hell with uh, it. Yeah, but, I, uh, I, don't I don't know. I'm can. a little fearful of what's going to happen, but uh, hopefully it'll well, come out. I, I live in a defensive decent. position, so I'm not worried about it at all. Well, <laughs> If only I had something to defend myself with. Yeah. I have kitchen knives. Yeah, we we better arm everybody, every woman and child, just in case, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it it also hinges on what apparently the our country is more gullible uh, than I ever thought. You know to to keep believing some of yes, these things. Yes, some of the craziest stuff. You, you, uh, did you see Trump's uh, uh, on on? Uh, it was in some kind of an interview. He says, "Well, all I know about magnets is you take a glass of water and that's it. No more magnet." <laughs> oh, I saw that. Oh, that's perfectly ridiculous. Then somebody proved him wrong, of course. Of course you prove it. It doesn't take you proving wrong for crying out. A magnet gets wet and it doesn't work. Mm. Or my favorite, that, uh, did I already talk about this? That he was, uh, there's the, he has an ad where it shows him as being the second coming. Oh, oh I saw oh, that. Yeah. Oh, my well, word. Oh, yeah. That's terrible. And right. he has captured the evangelical Christian. Now that you know, is, as I remember now the first guy. I'm not a big hist- history guy when it comes to the first guy, but I don't think he ever uh, uh, fooled around with all kinds of married women and all that other <laughs> stuff. That that. Uh, no, but what, no, what nor is did going he, in on? In fact, he was he was a socialist. He wasn't. He yeah. was certainly not a. Oh, uh, he was pretty radical. Yes. Yes. But, but what some, is going on with people that that they could come into a belief system like that? What 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 is that connecting? Tissue there that says, "Yeah, that sounds right." Um, well, don't we <laughs> all want to? Don't we all want to think we don't know everything that there's stuff out there that we don't know about? Mm. This is how things like Bigfoot 
uh, originate and, and yeah, but and, we and we stay. don't obsess about it. And, some some and, people do, but well, I guess so. But I think in politics today, it's it's obsessive. It is. Pe- it is. People are, are and, uh, co- you know, com- completely into it. I, I I used to. I don't anymore because it became so political. There's a thing called next door neighbor or something like that, and it's a little. It's not not uh, Facebook, but people will, you know, where can I get a good plumber or something like that? Oh, subscribe to it. Right? And yeah. that's recently got so bad that I've had to to uh, uh, delete it. But about. A week, less than a week after Fox had their big settlement where they had to pay three quarters of a billion dollars for just flat ass lying. Mm-hmm. Not being wrong, not making mistakes, not to just lying. Lying, flat ass lying. There was a, there was a, an item on this next door neighbor. If you want to know what's really going on on the border, you have to tune into Fox. <sighs> yeah, well. They, they were the bastions of truth, and a lot of people. There's a lot of homes you go into. I'm sure all of you have done it. You walk in in the middle of the day, and nobody's even in the room, but Fox Fox News is on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 24 hours a day. I don't and, know how that works. Uh, you know, it's a knob that you turn on, and, or you have a clicker it's that scary. you have a remote control, and you can turn things on and off that way. Yeah. It's well, you know, 60 Minutes has done a couple of shows about how it is that when you have your cell phone... In your hand, turned off, it's still broadcasting and people are listening. Now, who are those people? I want to know about Who that. is it that's well, listening? I talked to somebody the other day, and I happened to mention that story. I just, And she said, oh, yeah, that's well known. It has something to do with quality control or some stuff. The people who, who make those uh, echo things, those little uh, things, oh, they, say, yeah. the they say that they, yeah, they, 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 say that they do monitor, though, yeah. for quality control. I a few years mine. ago, a few years ago, there was a guy who's, I, I don't know if he got it as telephone messages. I think that's what it was. A conversation between his boss and his wife that they were having evidently in their living room or something uh, about him. And this guy lives a couple hundred miles away and somehow or other the thing picked it up and wound up on his answering machine. Fortunately, they weren't saying anything bad about it, but... Yeah, it's that that stuff is always listening. A couple I mentioned this before too. Not long ago, I was at a little dinner party and we talk. We were talking about a restaurant, a particular restaurant in town, and the the vice came on and started giving us directions how to get to the restaurant. Yeah, I've I, had that happen. I have a friend that has the Alexa. I guess is yeah. I personally don't care for them. I but, don't have one. Though. Um. And, and this happened before when I'm over her house. You know, you just say something and then she'll pop up. And Yeah. No, I, I got rid of mine. Just not a fan. Like, I don't know. Well, I don't know whether whether it helps to get rid of it because you've still got your computer your computer on. So Well, on knows? my phone, I have Surrey on my phone. And sometimes if I'm saying something, Surrey will come up and start to answer me. That's happened to me, well, too. Well, that's, that's Ray's favorite story, isn't it, about talking about your dog and then having yeah, him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So somebody told me that if you, if, you, uh, if you set your phone so that you have to push a button in order to use Siri, that that will reduce that. I don't know. That's I do, it. though. I have to push that button at the bottom, mm-hmm. and well. it still happened. So along with the cell phones, what about the, the conspiracy theories? What about the – I've never f- figured out if this is right, wrong or right, but the uh, – it damages your brain or something while it has close to your ear. I think, Have you heard that I think one? there's some validity to that, and that's okay. why you don't see many people with it in their ear. Okay. Anymore. Maybe that's why I'm so clear headed. It could be. Because <laughs> I don't have a cell phone. That is exactly yes. it. Surely you'll be, it. You will be the savior of the earth. You'll be I the only be one well. wandering around saying, But oh, I would that. be careful because yeah, listen surely to me. My... only I have the truth. <laughs> but you might be like, you might be uh, in the fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel, and we better be careful about the cookies you serve. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. Come on over to my house, little yeah. girl. You know. Mind me to tell you a story about cookies later, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, um, Rick, you, you're the one who's actually done his homework here to look at all this stuff, but how long ago do you think... Pardon me, Ray. Didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, he's he, he, <laughs> he scribbles has down there. Yeah. He's working. I, I did to a prove. lot of homework. Yeah, Rick has a whole notebook full of. <laughs> I did a, did a lot of homework and brought the wrong notebook. <laughs> Look at me here. 
Anyway, um, how long ago did th- all of this really start? Would you say that, that it's always been around, but it's because we've got television and computer? I mean, have conspiracy theories always existed, do you think, or is it well, a didn't, phenomenon didn't, didn't of— you me- we just, Didn't you mention religion? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yes, I, I, guess, think of the I guess I answered my own question. Catholic Church uh, mm-hmm. was it? I'm sorry, here I go, but Galileo or whoever figured. Mm-hmm. I mean, that kind of a thing. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know, they put him in prison. I could be wrong here. I'm oh, going I, off the top yeah, of my no, head. No, he yes. was, yeah. which isn't great, but he was excommunicated. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah I, yeah, I think they've probably already always been around to an extent. But right now, with social media, and yeah. it's just it's gone bananas. And the, yeah. and the other thing is that there are so many incredible things happening with science that it's almost <laughs> possible to believe anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and then the ones that don't believe in science. Yeah. I, but there's also, you know, there's so many things that have gone on in the past with our own CIA and FBI. Mm-hmm. They have done, they, they're not harmless. Oh, far from they it. are not they, harmless. Absolutely. No, so, they're not. But I, so, I, I don't think they're the the enemy that a lot of people make them out to no, be. No, I don't but either, right. but that's... You're that's, right about that, yes. Uh, that's the way people segue into sure. saying, oh, it's the CIA. Well, yeah. Yeah. Them yeah. Them the FBI. Yeah. I'll run with it, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's for yeah. sure. Because mm-hmm. there is at some point a little germ of truth in there. And there is. And they take it and run with it, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They had files on all kinds of people, Billy Holiday and uh, a lot of entertainers oh. and... Uh, oh, yeah. they were so-called communists and... So- well, they were investigating the fact that they mm-hmm. might be. Uh, Wasn't Elvis on that list? Am I wrong about that? It, it, wouldn't, it would not Could surprise me. I would not be... He's sure. still alive, too. We talked about I know. Him. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. right. Well, why don't we ask Maybe he's listening. <laughs> <We see him. laughs> Maybe he's listening and he'll call So in. I have to ask everybody about the, the Y2K hysteria. Oh, that, that was, was oh, yeah. long ago. I mean... Our kids came over to spend the night <laughs> with, with their new baby because everybody was a little afraid. What they can were I afraid say? it was going to all. And of course, them. Art Bell perpetuated that to the mm-hmm. nth degree. So well, my did... mother-in-law had jugs of water all over the house. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was a um, a group in Texas of, of all places. Imagine Texas, where Gosh. people are a little bit crazy. But believe me, anyway, a group in Texas who believed on this subject that that was going to be the second coming of Christ. And so, Mm -hmm. in order to fulfill all of the prophecies, they had the red calf, and they flew it to Jerusalem so that it would be there there to help to to fulfill that prophecy because they thought that that would be the day. That would be the time when Jesus would come back. So, Hmm. it's it's fascinating how people can talk themselves into things. Wasn't there a white buffalo involved? Well, that's that's the Native there? Americans there. No, uh, I mean, and, 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 uh, the white buffalo to be in Jerusalem. Oh, okay, maybe my no. species and color wrong. Huh? <laughs> no, yeah. Maybe, or it was a different could, different conspiracy you, theory. You could that start one. That sounds like a good, good yeah. one to start. Well, the what white buffalo we... is the Native American yeah. symbol for the, the be, how the world is going to start over again is when they find the white buffalo, and he oh. did. So he was we, born like maybe we, twenty years ago. A white buffalo was born. We tried our damnedest to get rid of that one by killing them all. <laughs> well, but you <laughs> <Who's> know, <we? laughs> you know, people are looking for signs, and yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. that that is one of. If you go back in history, that there, there are probably a lot of stories that have sprung sprung up because people have said there will be a, a happening, and and there will be a sign, and course, in Christianity, the sign was the star, you know, supposedly, mm-hmm. uh, that people followed, et cetera, et cetera. But, but I think there's always been that mystical, magical part to us where we're looking to understand why are we here, where are we going, where do we come from, what's going to happen, uh, mm-hmm. the curiosity itself. And it allows you to run off in every direction because... We're all trying to figure it out on mm. some level, yeah. you know. I mean, why did that happen? Oh, well, it must have been because X, Y, and Z over here. Mm. Um, and so instead don't, of going don't you in... think it's the, the, big, the big overall question that mm-hmm. all of this stuff kind of dribbles out from, so to speak, you know? And, and isn't that partly why we have 
therapists and psychiatrists <laughs> and people oh, who try to tell okay. us what is so wrong it's with the us. Whole, the and, whole thing is then to and, perpetuate these people making a living. So we have these people who are telling us we're sick because... And so, <laughs> and so we better go be sick because otherwise we won't be able to go to the psychiatrist know, or the therapist. And so what does is everybody reality? Believe, everybody believe we landed on the moon? Of course. Well, now I there's the other one. as the oh, silly. That's the silly. silly one. The moon landing. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, as a silly conspiracy thing. I saw I could... Neil deGrasse Tyson one time being interviewed about that, and he said he's looked at all the things that were supposedly done to fake the moon landing, and he said, actually, doing the moon landing was easier than those faking <laughs> those. That's a good <laughs> point. Yeah. That is a good point. But the people who did the film to show that it was a fake moon landing did a pretty good job, in my opinion, because I thought, oh, yeah, hey, what, the, yeah, why, the flag why, why, why Supposedly, the flag was waving when there's no air on yeah. the... Yeah. Mm. Well, I thought if it was that easy, how come we're not doing it more? I mean, mm -hmm. what... Mm -hmm. Well, we are. We're getting ready to not only do it, we're getting ready to go there and set up a, a habitat. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, people say, how come all the other countries didn't do it? And how come that, how can we do it again? And my answer to that is because we did it and the other countries said, oh, good, let them piss away their money. <laughs> and um, we did it, so why do it again? Either and I think, I think, uh, um, I can't think of his name. The guy that wrote Whitey on the Moon, he may have made us all feel bad about it too. <laughs> Nobody knows that's no. I don't know okay, that. Okay, it's a. Uh, oh, I can't think of his name. He's a beat poet. He did some really great stuff, and he talks. Not Alex Gin uh, Ginsburg. No, no, you were close though. Berlin Getty. No. no. Okay. A any anyway, he's. Uh, he's yeah, Carter Wack will try one more. No, he's talking. <laughs> He okay. said that a, 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 a rat just bit his sister Nell and her arm is swelling up and he can't get a doctor and he can't pay his rent and all the problems that, 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 that poor people were having. But Whitey's on the moon. And <laughs> okay. oh, that's, that was the gist of the song. I okay. See. okay. Yeah. yeah. You would know that kind of thing. Well, yeah. Yes, you this would. This kind of radio show I had. <laughs> well, well I, that leads me always to my, my big question is, why do we spend money on things that are otherworldly when we're not taking care of this planet? But That's you know, exactly I, what he was saying. I talked to my brother, who is a, a brilliant person, but you know, he's, he's on the, the side of, yeah, we need to do all of this other stuff. And it's sort of the pull yourself up by your own bootstraps uh, theory, you know, uh, the the whole thing against democracy and and against the idea that we should take care of each other no 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 either you can make it or you can't kind of theory I, you know in that I know in the, in that camp I know that the arguments I, I kind of on both sides there the space exploration has always uh, interested me and it's smart, fascinating yeah it, it is smart fascinating people I'm do glad it. it's been done more by private industry now though. Well, yeah, there you I, go. I, the 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 American American space program to me was okay. We have the money to do that, but we have money. We have other things, lots of other things. I could I could go out tomorrow and buy a brand new Lexus. I, my my life would suffer in other ways, like eating less and things like that. But I could have that brand new Lexus. So, so that's. Well, and and I have more important things to spend money yeah, on than okay. a brand oh, okay. new okay. I couldn't okay. point as you okay. like when you're the, using the common sense. Oh. To what your point was about that. Okay. Yeah, and if yeah. I decide to do it, I'll give you all a ride. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I personally enjoy watching the little, I can't think what it's called now, but the little mechanism that's running around on Mars and oh, shooting yeah. back. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think that's absolutely... And the helicopter. That's all fun. Yeah, I think it's, it's great. Yeah. really interesting. It's really interesting. But so far, there aren't any little green men. I mean, there, are, there aren't people running around. There aren't... There isn't intelligent life that, as we know it. Well, there's not much intelligent life here on this planet <laughs> either, is there? Yeah, we better but, figure um, that out, too. Yeah. <laughs> But I, I do think it's fascinating, and, and maybe mankind has always been fascinated with the heavens. You look up and you see all this stuff, and you go, wow, what is that? You know, why is that? You know, here's, here's another conspiracy theory, I think, uh, and that is that the moon was towed into place where mm -hmm. it is now. It wasn't always there, that there are people who said, I remember a time when the moon wasn't there. 
this is going back centuries, of course, but you know, what is what is the moon? That's a fascinating subject. So it, it opens the door to all kinds of questions. You know, was it always there? Is it dead? Is it alive? Is it hollow? Is it hollow? Um, yeah. mm-hmm. You know, why does it ring if you it, jump on it or and, hit and it, it like a it, bell? It tracks, or, it tracks in the same orbit as Earth. Yeah, but mm-hmm. But I think it's one of those things that we want to know. We want to yeah. know for yeah. some reason. And we're much more interested in trying to find out the answer to those things than some more practical things because they're, you know, they're too easy, so to speak, is, you know. Anybody know about chemtrails? I, that's in my... Oh, uh, okay. You want, ah, you, you want to give us the... Harmless. No, no, I just... You want to give us the lowdown on chemtrails? Art Bell, he talked about that quite a lot. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And so what are they really? Well, they're, then, I think when, they're when, just... Trails of the jets, but they're when the jets are flying they're, overhead, they have these white things up behind. Of course, them. isn't and it they, like exhaust and, uh, out of a car? This, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Well, if that's what you want to believe. <laughs> <laughs> now, twenty years ago, that never used to be there. <gasps> oh, that's ridiculous! That's not no, true. it's not ridiculous. I heard somebody say it on YouTube this morning. Oh, well, then like, it must be true. Well, she said, true. "Well, what is it then?" And well, so anyway, the people who believe in this say that the government is spreading something. Right. But we don't know what. No. It's spreading something to change the weather. It's spreading something to dumb us down. Our political situation right now in this country, I would say, yes, it is dumbing us down. But it's going to affect the crops. It's going to do this, going to do that. And there's no 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 talk about how this stuff that would, would require quite a few people. So whoever puts the fuel in the jet would have to put this element in there and it's but it's, it's built into people, the jet fuel. people absolutely believe in it mm. and absolutely. that was one of the i used to listen to art bell for yeah. for the fun yeah and like i said with the hole in siberia here and the devil scream and that was kind of it gave me a little chill but, yeah and that's okay <laughs> but when it was chemtrails i i usually uh, didn't because I, what amazed me is that he would have on you know a doctor and a scientist and the amount of effort they can put into these things, that's what gets people probably wrapped up into believing it. I don't know. These the so-called more. doctors and scientists, are they just making a buck doing this? Well, or are know, they I, or, or are they really doctors? I was just going to say, are they pseudo, pseudo-doctors? But, you know, he spent a lot of time on that stuff. Yeah. Chemtrails were a, were a big thing. Well, there's a doctor in Florida who's, I think, the the— May, the Surgeon General, whatever they call it, the doctor in Florida who says that um, that the vaccinations have this aluminum in them. Then you, if you get vaccinated, you'll have aluminum go into your DNA or something. And he's we he's have a the, doctor right here in town that thinks that when you're vaccinated, you will be giving other people uh, COVID. Oh, for heaven's sake! No, he the, he he did not allow. People in his office who had been vaccinated within two weeks. And that's because right. A doctor giving, here in town? They were giving his staff COVID. Well, well, you know, these people <laughs> need to get a history lesson on I have what more. happened <laughs> with polio and, and yeah, with exactly. German measles and with smallpox and all the strides that have been made. They, they don't talk about the history of any of this stuff and the value in it is like the anti-vaxxers. I mean, what are in the hell are they thinking? I, I can't you know, imagine. They're not thinking. They're and just they're a- not old enough to know that we use, that we eradicated polio. In 1957, I had a polio shot or I took the sugar cube or whatever. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I had two friends in middle, in middle school, junior high school in those days, who had polio. One ended up in an iron lung the rest of his life. And um, uh, uh, the, uh, the iron lungs still exist, or do they? Does what they, still exist? Uh, iron lungs have they been replaced with um, something a little more? I'm not sure if they do. Maybe in certain wards. God. But he was in an iron lung. I would visit him. With Wait, his so when sister. you took your, when you took your polio shot, did they just get you out of your second grade? No, we, they and came, brought you into the no, gym, no. and you got your shot. Exactly, and we stood in line. Us. We all stood in line outside of Grant Junior High School in Denver. Everyone stood in line before school started, and we were given the shot or the sugar cube. I, I remember the sugar cube mm-hmm. getting yeah. that in. Do, were there big protests about no, taking this? No, 
No. Not there. There, there were some people that died from that shot, or at least one. What happened? There was a bad batch or something like that. And uh, well, sure, yes, but certainly yeah. that could. I'm happen. sure that could have happened. But, but yeah. look what it did to save yeah. zillions yeah. of people from yeah, polio. Well, I think that's all just a. A, a government story. I don't think, I poli think that polio are, really existed or anything. I of think that. that there are people who just want some way to become noticed and to say something outrageous so that they can drum up some enthusiasm among some I think other that's people. What it's a TikTok's it, all about, isn't it? Pretty yeah, let, let's yeah. see how <laughs> yeah. crazy I mean, we can be. Dangerous Instagram, TikTok, to me. all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Root, Didn't mean Rumble. Rumble. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you're right. They, they don't have a life, so they need to get a life. Yeah. <laughs> so how many of us are willing to throw our televisions out the upstairs window, and how, how many of us are willing well, to not have a cell phone? I did get rid of my little Echo device. I said, no way, because I'm, I'm talking on the phone. The little Echo is plugged in. I'm talking on the phone, and suddenly there's, there's my little Alexa person. Um, giving giving me music that I didn't request because I had simply <laughs> said something on the mm -hmm. on the telephone, and I was a room away. So it's like, okay, if that's what can happen, I don't want any part of this. Don't so. do, don't not television so much. How much else would we know about these conspiracy theories if we didn't look them up on television? That's or, true. Or YouTube. That's true. There actually are some worthwhile things to watch. It's not like no, th there are. Uh, but I have talked to I'm renter with my landlord and we've talked about possibly getting rid of uh what do we have direct tv um mm. because there's 500 channels and we only watch yeah. like two or three mm -hmm. but and maybe some of those channels are listening to us too i don't yes know. conspiracy turn yeah. on the radio you never know <laughs> and when you try to when you, when you try to disconnect it it's going to say i can't do that how <laughs> Well, I've got a friend going Hal. through some hell right now trying to get rid of DirecTV. But anyway, yeah. that's it for another show. Okay. Everybody needs to watch 2001. Hal, Hal, Hal. Uh, we love Hal. Hal. We talked about that last time. Yeah, we, yeah. We, uh, yeah that 2001 was the bit, one of the best movies I've ever I'll seen. I'll have to watch it again. Cause yeah, I, it's a good one to watch again. I, mean, yeah, I sat through Hal. however many hours it was, and I was left with the monkeys. I, was, <laughs> yeah. I liked the monkeys, but after that it was... Oh, well, then, then you need to watch the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. But look at how many years ago people were writing things that they thought were going to happen in the future. And they thought 2000 was a big date. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that was going to make a turning point of, of, of a lot of value in some ways. But some people thought that really was the end. You know, 2000 well, years, that's it. But then... You, Look at when you started, what, not you or I, but when time was being kept in that way. You know, why, why was B.C. before Christ? I mean, mm -hmm. why, why was time suddenly stopped <laughs> at that point? Because of the Christian world at the time, which was mm -hmm. a small number of nations. When you, when you go back and really look at Tiny. the world and say, all of those people that lived in those countries— they thought that was the entire world because it was for them. Sure. They weren't yeah. aware of, yeah. of the Americas or whatever. So that, that what we're living with now are the decisions that that little group of people made all those years ago. Right. So yeah. that's kind of weird. That's a conspiracy in itself, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> they did change the designation of... Um, I like that. Yes, go ahead. It's, it's not... BC anymore. It's the C. common Christian era, yeah. and then yeah, then common era common before, and they call yeah. it something different. CE, yeah. C -E, common era, common and BCE era. before B common, before yeah. common era. BCE oh. and C -E. I, I well, noticed that on a show I was mm -hmm. watching the other day. I said, "What are they talking about?" Well, oh, that's okay. the that's See, the, part of the push to to make Christianity the um. The religion in this country, the determining and, and factor in other right. places mm -hmm. too, which mm -hmm. you know I have to this say, this has got to be part of the of the, of the liberal scares me. Uh, crack smoking, baby eating uh, cabal that's caused this. We took, oh, is that we oh, took Christ out of the out of the uh, yeah. time? Oh, that's our fault. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. that was another dangerous mm -hmm. one about the Democrats and the um, child. 
Well, just I had sex a, trafficking. Yeah, I, I had a friend who actually believed that. Well, people still do. Yeah. Well, the reason I, I heard I heard somebody say this, and I thought it was very wise. Think about the worst thing. Think about the worst thing that you can accuse somebody of doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. And that would be it about mm-hmm. about the baby. All the Drinking horrible things baby you can blood. think about. Yeah. That would be it. And so that's where people went because. They couldn't think of anything more extreme. Yeah. And what, you what, know? what could be worse than a pedophile? pedophile well, well d- yeah. killing a baby <laughs> or, killing. or oh. eating a baby or, yeah. you know, that, yeah. that's as, as bad as it could, could and, get. And so that's where they went. Or saying and that... Or pe- pepperoni on your pizza meant a little boy. <gasps> and have a cheese pizza was... Uh, Oh, for oh my goodness. Right, oh, I don't even want that thought in my head. We, uh, now, let us not create a conspiracy theory. <laughs> I'm not creating. Don't you know about Pizzagate? <laughs> yeah, of course, but I... <laughs> okay. And one thing oh, I did where, find out... Where Hillary held court in the basement? Was, was uh, <laughs> uh, in my, you know, extensive research here, but I, what I could find out, I thought that the right would have been, had way more conspiracy theories According to what I've been researching, that's quite not quite true. Really? They even out, but uh, the ones on the right have been considerably considerably more dangerous and violent. I'll give say me a, than the ones give on me a left, yes. yeah. Give me a lefty one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there was one, one about the, uh, uh, oh, God, now I can't think of her name. The, Comey Barrett, the uh, Supreme Court. Yeah. A- Amy Comey Barrett. Who shouldn't yeah. be there, in my opinion. Amy but, Coat Hanger Barrett. But they Barrett. said it was an illegal plot. You know, now I, I don't think she should be there, but that wasn't the wasn't the case. And uh, gosh, what was the other? Well, I'll throw this out a little bit. Maybe when the the left, a lot of the people on the left wanted to abolish all the police departments. There were oh, some that, cities. That's not that, no, that, true. That, that wasn't, wasn't even true. Okay, okay, hold that on. wasn't even they, true. There were some cities that had a. A, a, a portion of the people that were trying to do it. That's all I'm saying. It's, yeah. they, they, the defund the police was not, it's it's unfortunate they use such a bad name for it. what true. they were doing. That's true. And I say this as a 20 year cop. Okay. Okay. They were sending, the, and still are, sending police out to do things that they're not at all qualified to do, deal yes. with mentally ill people, yeah. things like that. And the, that they wanted to do is redirect that funding to mental health agencies or somebody who does have uh, the training or whatever to do right. that. I've done tons of things that I had no idea what the hell I yeah, was Yeah, but doing, you know. don't ever but, let a good sound bite go yeah, by. Yeah. You know, if you can think of something rotten to say and get it out there, then... Sound bite, then that, that, all of yeah, it. Yes. Okay, and, we're, we're well, coming we're, we're, up on Round It Up time. Round yeah. It Up round time. It up What's your time? final word on this subject, Well, Ray? I was just going to ask you that. Oh. I'm... I'm mm. The moderator here, so you're supposed to have <laughs> final words, and I'm supposed to get them from you. Yeah, well, I, I will go back to my original thought process on this, and, and that is you have to have a certain kind of mind that allows allows it to run off in all these directions and and start throwing in with things that are, you know, clearly so controversial. Anyway, that's the world we live in. Rick? Uh, take everything with a tiny grain of salt. Oh, okay. Yep. What else? There you mm. go. Okay, Billy, we have 35 seconds and that I, you have to fill in. I will <laughs> fill in 30 seconds for sure that I, I would just pull back just a little bit on um, having the kind of mind that could be sucked into these things. I think people get sucked into these things because they have bought into what they see on TV and it and their minds may not have been there had they not bought into what they saw. That wraps it up. Billy had the last word, and thank you very much for listening. See you next time. 